Welcome to DW News Asia. Glad you could join us. The United States has warned Afghanistan that the Taliban could make rapid territorial gains if US-led NATO forces withdraw from the country by the 1st of May. The warning is contained in a letter from US Secretary of State Antony Blinken to Afghanistan's President Ashraf Ghani. Some 10,000 US-led NATO troops are due to pull out from the country according to the terms of an agreement reached between the United States and the Taliban last year. The letter from Blinken also proposes urgent steps towards achieving a permanent ceasefire in the country, including a UN-backed meeting of foreign ministers of regional nations, a meeting between the Afghan government and the Taliban in Turkey, and efforts to achieve a 90-day reduction in violence. And joining me now from Herat in western Afghanistan is correspondent Ali Latifi. Ali, has there been any reaction from the Afghan government to the proposals from Secretary Blinken? The Afghan government hasn't said anything specific yet in response to the proposal. Um, and there are reports that basically the government has uh, basically reduced their meeting loads today and it's sending a signal that basically they're trying to figure out what to do with this message um, and how to go forward because a lot of the things that they had hoped for with the Biden administration, this letter makes very clear isn't happening. So my Khalizad is saying they aren't scrapping the process entirely. And in fact, the letter says that, uh, you know, a decision needs to be reached very quickly, some kind of a settlement, some kind of a peace agreement. So any sort of uh, hope for a change in course seems to have gone out the window at this point. Now, the, the letter also talks about uh, developing a consensus on power sharing with the Taliban. Is that a reality right. that the Afghan government uh, needs to accept? At this point, it seems that way, because if the U.S. is in charge of this deal, and if they are uh, calling in the U.N., and if they are calling in neighboring nations, you know, this kind of an agreement, this kind of a, a suggestion doesn't come out of nowhere. There had to have been some forethought ahead of time. The fact that they're calling in all of these representatives from neighboring nations, the fact that they're uh, asking for the U.N. to take such a big role, it seems as if, you know, in a lot of ways, this has already been decided. Now, the question is, will the government accept it? And just as importantly, will the Taliban accept it? They've sent out messages recently saying that they don't want to be part of any kind of an interim government. Obviously, the Afghan government has been very adamant against an interim government. The president has said, you know, he will die before he sees an interim government. Um, but the letter is very strongly worded. So the question is, how will both sides react to such a you know, strong, strong things coming from the United States. Now, Ali, we've talked about this many times before, but Antony Blinken has still not made it clear if U.S. troops are staying or leaving. This is a huge issue for the Afghan government and for the people. Um, if you look at some of the early drafts of that letter that were leaked, there were elements that said that they were still considering uh, keeping, uh, withdrawing all of their troops by May 1st. But at the end of it, as you said, you know, th this is the thing that the government wants a clear answer, that the people right. want a clear answer to. This is sort of giving a roadmap for some kind of a peace settlement, but it's not giving the final, most important right. answer, which is what's going to happen after May 1st. Um, and so I think, again, this may be the U.S. pulling some kind of leverage, reminding them right. that, you know, as much as we've decided sort of a path going forward for you, our troops are still up for contention. Ali Latifi in Herat, thank you very much for that.